So, I've officially finished every MCU movie, and I decided to make a tier list for them. So, the tiers are best of the best, the best movies, great, not quite top tier, but still really good movies, good tiers, good, okay, okay movies, and what not watch again are movies that are a little below average. Like, they're not necessarily bad, it's just I don't see myself watching them unless I'm like, going to watch all the MCU movies in a similar time frame again, in, in uh, like a short time, in like within a month again. So, let's just start the tier list. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I'm going to put it here. It's kind of close to here, but I'm going to put it there. It has some really good CGI, but one of my problems with it is the entire plot line with the Ravages just isn't interesting to me. And that, and a lot of the jokes aren't that great. Like, there's some jokes really funny, and then other jokes are kind of just, like, the whole taser face thing is just not a good joke. But, let's move on to the next movie. Spider-Man Homecoming uh, here. It's a good movie. It has good action. And it has a good plot. I just don't find it as good as a lot of the other ones. And it's, it's got some problems. Like, problems, including, it does not have a good villain. I don't think the Vulture is a good villain. I just felt like some of the stuff was kind of meh. So, next. Here's one that a lot a lot of people put in Man the Wasp in this tier, and I would put it in this tier. It's a good movie. Almost most people will disagree with me like that. It has a solid plot, and the action and villain are meh, but I still I still think it's a good movie. So I disagree. The action is meh and the villain is meh, but everything else is pretty good, so. Ant Man 1 is a little below Ant Man and the Wasp, probably there. It's okay. It has good action, but I'm just not the most interested in the plot or anything. It's, it's only okay. Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, I'm going to put it here. It's got some problems. Like, the middle part of the story is pretty boring, and there's not a lot of action in it. But overall, it, it's it's good. The action's great, but I uh, there's better. You can do... There's a lot of better things in the episode. Now, the... Best out of all the MCU movies, and then there's Infinity War. It's best of the best. Pretty much everything is good. The only pro- I can't even think of any problems I have for it. I guess the only problem is the plot's a little bit predictable, but not really. If you're really good at predicting plots, you might know. But whatever. I don't. It, it's a great movie. It's the best out of all the movies, in my opinion. It's better than Endgame, and it's also better than all the other S tiers I have. Black Panther, this movie, if you put it in best of the best or great, I don't understand how. It's a good movie. Um, yeah, whatever. Here, I have some problems with this. Like, no, the side characters are not interesting. No, Killmonger does not have enough development to be a good villain. And the, this drags on way too much, and there's some terrible CGI at the end. But I think everything's pretty good in it. No, this movie is not better than Infinity War. If you think that, then you're dumb. It's a good movie, but it's not that good. Civil War, alright. Captain America Civil War is the best of the best. It's great action, great plot. Once again, pretty much everything is great. My only problem is that like, it just seems like to cause this a war, they're just pulling like every little detail they can pull out to make it so the Avengers are out of Civil War. But Alright, next. A lot of people don't like this one. A lot of people put it in this tier. I'm going to put it in this tier. Captain America First Avenger is a great movie. It's got good action. It's got a good plot. My only problem is it there's a lot of setup before it really gets that interesting. But this still this movie is un, is an underrated movie and is really good. The Winter Soldier, um, yeah, there probably. It's a great movie. It's great, it's great action. Got a great plot and stuff. It's it's a good movie. Great movie. Captain Marvel. Yeah, I'd say uh, it's okay. It's okay. The action's fine. It's just I don't think the plot is that good. In it's just not in Captain Marvel is just not an interesting protagonist to me. So I'm just not personally interested in it. Doctor Strange. A lot of people. There's some people that think would put it in this year, and then there's other people that put it in this year. Where would I put it? Eh, right there. I'd put it here. It's a great movie. Got great effects. A great plot. Great action. And once again, pretty much everything is good. It just, technically, this might have, 
technically, just because I'm putting, like, once again, I think this movie has more problems than Avengers. I think Black Panther has more problems than Age of Ultron does. But it has higher positives than Age of Ultron does. So. Actually, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Whatever. Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Uh, this movie is not best of the best. It is not Infinity War level. It's a great movie. But it's not Infinity War level. It's the... Yeah, it's not top three. This movie's a good movie, but no, it's not top three. It's funny, it's got a great plot, but it's not top three. I can say that. In game, I'm going to put it there. Uh, it's as great action and a great plot. My only, I have this one little problem with it, and that's. The time travel thing kind of induces a lot of previous canon MCU things. Like, the Guardians of the Galaxy technically never met each other because of the Power Stone thing. But I think they returned to stone, so maybe it did. I don't know. Whatever. Iron Man 2 is okay. It, it has a good final battle, but it's too short to be... It's still not that great. The action is not good. But... It's better than Iron Man 3 because it has a way, way better plot than Iron Man 3. But it's about, like, personality flaws and I'm not like, that. Iron Man 3, the Mandarin twist is stupid. The action is prob is better than it is Iron Man 2. We just... And it's bad. It's okay. It's not bad. It's just... It's, it's, it's got some positives, but it's... It's... The Mandarin twist is bad. If you, like... Whenever the people like to say... Say, well, if you're a comic fan, you're not going to like the Mandarin twist. I'm not a comic fan. They're like, cause, but it's unexpected and it works well. No, the Mandarin twist is one of the worst twists in the MCU. Not even that many twists other than the Mysterio twist in this one. Iron Man. I'm gonna put it in great. It's a great movie, got a great plot, and great action. Everything is pretty much great. So, uh, I'm gonna put it. All right, this is one you guys are gonna disagree with me on. Everyone put it in here or here. I'm actually gonna put it there. Yeah, I think there's two Phase 2 movies that are better than it. Okay, so, yeah, you can probably guess based on that where I put these. Yeah. But we'll get to these. I'll, I'll explain those ones sooner. It's got great action. I just don't think the plot is as good as the plot is for these movies. So, Hulk, bad, bad CGI effects. Mark Ruffalo should have been it. Is a better act, did better as the Hulk than Edward Norton. And it has a great final battle, but... Just a good third act can't save a movie that has a pretty bad first and second act. Thor one once again a great a good third act can't save a movie that kind of, that had an okay first and second act. Okay, really all of Thor three is like a little below average first and second act, and then like it has an okay third act. It's it's okay. I don't like it. I I don't see myself watching it again unless I'm doing an MCU marathon. All right, Thor Ragnarok is best of the best. Um. I didn't think it was super funny, but it was a little funny, and it has a great plot and great action, so. Yeah, it's going to be the best of us. Thor the, the Dark World. This is the most hated of all the movies. A lot of people would put it here. I would put it there, probably. It's okay. Here are the problems with it. The second, the final battle is, for MCU standards, it's not good, but for overall movie standards, it's pretty good. So, but the plot is Malekith is, an, is one of the worst MCU villains. He's a super underdeveloped, and the, the like the second part of the story is pretty boring. All right, so we got one more movie to go: Spider-Man: Far From Home. I think it's better than Homecoming. I would put it here. The Mysterio twist is a little confusing to me. I don't exactly get it. How he's able to just tell. Um, do that much stuff with, like, projecting tech, but it has great action and a pretty good plot, so. Alright, that's it for the MCU tier 